is a pretty radical idea. Nobody had ever thought to try to stop tumors with electrical fields. And it's an idea that sounds a little bit crazy. People in my field, myself included, are generally skeptics because we've been trying to improve the outcome of these tumors for decades and decades, and we've barely pushed the needle. And here's something, a completely radical idea that many people think sounds like voodoo, and yet it makes as big a difference as the chemotherapy that's now standard for the disease. Chemotherapy in general does not get into the brain very well because the brain is very protective of its environment with something called the blood-brain barrier to keep poisons out of the brain. So the device is basically, it's four electrode pads that are placed on the scalp. These pads, basically they beam or create an electrical field that the patient doesn't feel focused on where the tumor is. And that electrical field apparently blocks the tumor cells when they try to divide. The normal cells in the brain are not dividing. We're born with all the brain cells we're ever going to have. So that's presumably one of the reasons that there's no toxicity. Folks who wore the device from the outset on average lived about three months longer than the people who didn't get the device at the outset. I think it's clear we're still not curing glioblastoma with this. So I'm not sure we can take this much further in glioblastoma per se. But there are other bad brain tumors that we deal with for which this could conceivably play a role. For example, much more common than glioblastoma is the problem of brain metastases when cancer elsewhere in the body like the lung or the breast or melanoma or the kidney spreads to the brain. If this device had the same effectiveness against brain metastases as it did against glioblastoma, that would, that would be a, a great extension of the technology for patients.